This is Chauncey Billups working outside. He'll be a key man in the series. And this is Wallace hitting on his first shot. Pistons by one, eight and a half to go. Opening quarter. Phillips. Drains it. See, if there's an X factor in this series, I think it's Chauncey Billups. The second time that's happened already. 10 8 with all eight for O'Neill. Found something else. <laughs> but next year, some of those may be available again if he doesn't come back. Here's Billups driving to the basket to retake the lead for Detroit. Situation like this in sports, wall to wall, from the beginning of training camp, and then you've got Shaq complaining at the beginning of the year. Now, like they were gonna win that 72. Hunter from outside. Malone high for the rebound, bats it, comes over to the first row, and ooh, Phillips went head over heels by the first row, lands. He fell on the, hard. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just, we're, we're, we're right down the. I tell you, he 10, fell 10 hard. Al, and he landed on his back on the corner up the step. And I, you know, it may not hurt now because of adrenaline, but that will hurt later. Mm. I mean, watch this. That's a hard fall. Phillips. And Campbell got the rebound and also, I think, a. Phillips. And that's what Kobe's going to try to do. Prince outside to a wide open Phillips, who hits it for three. Two great blocks by Tayshawn Prince. One on Reggie Miller and the other one on Al Harrington in game six. Ben Wallace drops one. Lakers led by one at the turn. And that's knocked away and stolen by Phillips. The Lakers are on the cusp. Phillips. And now he gets to go to the foul line. And that means is that in this series, Derek Fish 16 for Brian. So the two big guys have 40. Billups all the way to the rim. See, Billups likes this matchup, and you can see it. The only reason right now that the Lakers are in this game. 14 of them for Detroit. And then a big three by Prince. Two and a half to go. Here's Billups. Big one. See, Billups can get that shot all night. Somebody told you O'Neal would get 34, Bryant would get 25, Rasheed Wallace would have foul trouble and not play very much in the first half. You'd be in Los Angeles, you'd be facing the vaunted Lakers, and you'd win by about a dozen. What were those odds? George gets free from 16. Malone with a back tap, but nobody's there except Rasheed Wallace. And it goes into Ben Wallace, and Detroit takes the lead. Phillips goes all the way and off the glass throw it down. I mean, these are the possessions, the same type of possessions right here that the Pistons got in game one. Layups. He's two for six. Now Prince from outside to drain it. No. So you don't even want to give into the no. fact that you might be hurt to the extent you can't play. And a steal here, and here's Phillips. You know, uh, easy bucket. Too late. So Hamilton's in the game for the moment, and Bryant does not. Campbell. Got it. I think Gary Vini really was trying to tell him. It's all part of that Zen Buddhism. <laughs> yeah. You know, Phil's pretty good at clearing stuff. 6 nothing run right now. Under three to play in the half. Phillips. Not letting them take off the dribble, but you... In the first half, he guarded Rip, Hamilton, Billups, and everyone. Uh, it will be interesting at the end of the game. That is first. Two field goals for him. Payton goes all the way. Then Wallace gets the rebound. Then Kobe reaches in from behind to foul Phillips. The only Laker with more than two. Someone else in to defend one or... Wallace with a turnaround. It's important to him to get a championship, Malone, but he said the most important legacy I want to leave with my team. Person to another. While he was doing this, Chauncey Billups, who usually doesn't say a whole lot, yelled at his teammates, guys, of the half and quarters. You know, Detroit is up 32 to 25. One minute remaining in the third. Phillips got it, three. 
Phillips again goes by Peyton and Gary fouls him on the way to the hoop. Phillips 9 out of 10, now 10 out of 11. 15 if necessary next Tuesday. In all likelihood get the final shot of the quarter. Milking it down. Kobe stays with Billups, but then Billups gets free inside. The only piston with four would be Eldon Campbell who comes off the bench. Billups on the run. Doing it now with four fouls. And 88 coming into this game. In Rasheed Wallace. Phillips. 11 game series. <laughs> At least. Hamilton. Little runner in the lane goes. What a game. Auburn Hills is next. Here's Bryant. Losing the ball. Prince was on him. Now Phillips through the lane and a foul on his way to the basket. Another battle won by Kobe for the game. Basketball is basically about three things. Phillips is a two big night. Gets free. Got it. Here's Fisher. All the way. Misses the jam. Phillips back with the choice. So Derek goes all the way and hits the back rim, and then Phillips can't get it to drop it as a foul. More in three out of four quarters, and they won. Isn't that good? The fact that they're down five points, they are really fortunate. Phillips. Devin George from three-point land. Phillips lost it for Hamilton, and he's right there. Perfect pass, perfect finish. George each has three fouls. Nobody for Detroit with more than two. Phillips gets a screen from Wallace and catches it. I'll tell you what defensively that I don't understand. All series thus far, the Lakers have chosen to go underneath on Chauncey Phillips. Phillips with the drive. Throws it up. It goes. It counts and he's fouled. Scored in the goal of the pick and roll. The first one they chose to go under. That one, Gary Payton decides, well, I'm going to fight over. Gary Payton is going to have a breakout quarter or game. Here's Phillips. Three-pointer for Chauncey Phillips. Brian putting full court pressure on. Brown wants a foul and doesn't get it. You know what? People love Kobe Bryant. It's because they're down. Oh, wow. <laughs> Little elbow in the back. Well, now on Shaq. We're praying for you. Definitely. Take the pistons out of their offense. Bryant playing with just amazing energy. Here's Hamilton. Carl Malone can play. He gets a couple extra days of rest. To the, hoop. the Pistons have held a lot of teams under 70 this year, and they're going to hold the Lakers under 70. Well, Al, we said the number for the Pistons was between 85 and 90. So far, they haven't had to double team anyone on the Laker basketball team. And I think Larry was as shocked as anybody as Phillips has retired today. There, they put Rick Fox on the post. They're going to try to make Rip Hamilton guard Kobe Bryant. If not, they're going to keep posting up. Fox. Phillips got free. Just gotten another vote. Three on the timer. Phillips at the horn. Got it. Off balance. Look at the traffic. Two on nothing break. Automatic for Phillips. Another tough shot. Another tough shot. That's where someone else is going to have to go. Oh, baby in the house. He erupts on the lob to Rasheed Wallace. And what that leads to is fast break piston basketball. Phillips will put it up from outside. Three pointer. You're going to see Shaq on the line a bunch now. Phillips from beyond the arc. Six point game again. Chauncey Phillips. This play was called by Rip Hamilton. Drawing attention. Kobe Bryant has to help. Hamilton stops in the lane. Gets the bounce. O'Neal will end it with a meaningless lay-in to cap for him. 
a 20 rebound and 36 point night. But the Pistons has, have set up a situation where they can win it and win it at home. And one change you see early in this game is Kobe Bryant is starting the game out, guarding Chauncey Billups. So Kobe Bryant picks up his first personal time in the fourth. That's an unbelievable number. Jack comes out of the game here, and from the corner, it is Tayshawn Prince. Now, you're wondering why Phil Jackson takes Shaq out. Well, he has two fouls. That's number one. I think the other reason is they have a five now three point is because the Lakers led the lead in free throws. Cook made, it, Cook made a terrible pass, but it came back to Bryant, and then the call is against the Lakers. Phil's also thinking, how bizarre is this? Yeah, and that's a tough situation. By Prince, shoots over him. Doesn't drop, Big Ben high for the rebound. Now the Pistons can assume the lead here. Phillips puts it on his hip, goes all the way, that's the bounce. Medvedenko can't get it to drop. Rebound to Phillips. Pistons running the floor. Score it, Hamilton. He'll inbound with 19 seconds on the clock. Underneath, Phillips reverse, puts it in. Kobe loses the ball. There's no foul in the lane. Here's Phillips on the drive. Got it. Goes to the line. The golden ball. And they're going for it. Ben Wallace with the rebound. He's playing great. It's a big difference. Or basketball with his former teammate Lindsey Hunter and congratulating him as the clock ticks down. The Detroit Pistons have just shocked the Los Angeles Lakers. Now time for the presentation of the most valuable player trophy. And once again, Commissioner Stern. You saw it. 21 points a game, over five assists the 2004 NBA Finals MVP number one Chauncey Billups yes, sir. Yes, sir. Chauncey you just looked at that and said wow, wow. After, after all the places you've been and the expectations when you were drafted high in the draft, all the stops, did you ever stop dreaming that you could find the right place for your talents? I never stopped dreaming, man. God is good. You know, God is very good. He put me here for a reason, and that's the reason. You guys were uh, as heavy an underdog as we've seen win the championship in almost a quarter century. I know the guys believed. Tell me why this team was able to overcome the Lakers because we just believe in ourselves and we play team basketball we're not just individuals we got individual good players but we're a great basketball team and we know that that can overcome every time congratulations MVP of the finals Chauncey Billups